What's going on everybody, it's Eric here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this cube right here. Uh, I'm going to call it the Lonely Cube, but like, uh, I'm going to change the color right there because, you know, experiment. Uh, make a new file, and there you go, I'm going to be using Blender Render because the materials are more familiar, specifically with this project. With Cycles Render, like, I think I can make it in Cycles Render fine, but like, just don't waste time recording it and make it with blender and there's nothing that like like the lighting is not going to affect anything because there's only going to be one light source and that's going to be the cube so let's get started uh first we're going to go into edit mode zoom in a little bit go right here deselect control r add a loop cut uh minus 0.75 control r another loop cut 0.75 Control R, add a loop cut there, minus point seven five. Control R, add a loop cut there, point seven five. And let's do this part right here. Loop cut there, and I did not have a loop cut. No, 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 no. Okay, there you go. Now we got all this, all that stuff down. Edit mode. Uh, yeah, we got that down. We are going to go into. Actually, no, we're going to go back to object mode and add a new material with like around that color. I'll give you the hex right there 00C6E7. Add the emit up to 5 and bam, there you go. Uh, if I'm going through this a little fast, try to keep up with me because I, I really don't want to explain everything all over because I've recorded this like five times. So now that we got that down, go back into edit mode, face select mode right here, select everything, and deselect all these faces by holding shift and right clicking. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hit a new material, click this thing right there, bam, and I'm going to make it black. I'm well, not completely black because it's black, because it's like, that's black, completely black, but that black doesn't look well. Uh, we're going to make it like... 1E, 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 e. actually no, it's 1E, 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 yeah, that makes it look a pretty good color black, assign, e. mirror, reflectivity, 0.2, uh, just in case it's assign, and, Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that lamp. Hit, hit. Render that. Looks good. Go back to edit. Edit mode. Go back. It. Damn it. Edit mode. I'm gonna select all these faces. And go to there, and this time I'm gonna change to red. And these cars can change fast, so you gotta like, be careful. So E7, E70,000, that was hard to see. And we don't need to add any mirror for that. Just the uh, emit up to five, 
I'm gonna do that. That's gonna look good. Like you could add like a green. I think green would look good. Like you got you just gotta experiment. Under that, see that looks good. We keep it at that. I like it. And go to the world tab. Type in one e one e one e. There you go. And indirect lighting, approximate. Go back to object mode. And go to front view. Put that up there. Shift A, plane, scale it up to like 30 times its size. You got like a plane that big. And select the cube, click that right there. Rotate it like that. Rotate it like that. Back there. Move it up. There you go. Now render. That looks amazing. Just gotta set up the camera view, zoom in twice, and lock camera to view. Scale it up a little bit more. Lonely cube. There you go. I'm gonna render the full image. Anti-aliasing. And there you go. That was a pretty short tutorial because I went pretty fast. Uh, if you guys want me to do it less complicated one more in depth in depth i w could explain what everything does what every button does yeah yeah so if you want me to do one of those i will so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in the next video